Take a left up ahead. South Street. I canceled this gig. You said you didn't want to do any sessions for a while. For a while. I called her. I uncanceled it. Are you up to it? Let's find out. You lied to me. John Henry is never gonna show up. Will you stop? It's been like two hours. And we will keep waiting. I mean, you've heard this guy play, and you know what he does. So can you just shut up, Tommy? Oh, my God. Am I late? You need to hear it again? Nope, I get it. Let's try one, see what we get. Let's do it. Sets. Staying in the 90s on the nasal cannula. Coughing up much sputum? Almost none. He seems to be stabilized. Dr. House, is anything back from micro? Not yet. You gonna fire me? You can make up for it by washing my car. Oh, this is fun. Hey, let's keep him on the broad spectrum antibiotics. And since he's displaying septic physiology, draw blood for adrenal and thyroid function. How about the paralysis? We're sticking to the pneumonia. Well, you certainly are, boss. Like a wet tongue sticks to dry eyes. The paralysis has already been diagnosed by Dr. Hamilton. It's ALS. Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a lovely diagnosis. They make movies about it. No tests, no treatment. It's a disease of exclusion. Because Hamilton has excluded everything else. I haven't. What else could it be? guillain barre which would be reversible. Excellent. No. Progression of the paralysis would be symmetric. This wasn't. Transverse myelitis. Hamilton tested for it, negative. And he was negative for masses and AVM. Antibodies and could be attacking the nerves. Multifocal motor neuropathy. Uncommon, but it fits. It's also treatable. Did Hamilton try putting the guy on IVIG? No, because the MRI showed Let's no. do an MRI of our own. Guys, it's my case. ALS fits. It even predicts the pneumonia. Paralysis is progressive. It's a death sentence. That doesn't make it wrong. So you think the breathing stuff is connected to my ALS? It makes sense. So it's just gonna get worse, huh? Well, Dr. Hamilton. Great guy, really smart doctor. And his treatment obviously isn't working. Do you think I'm gonna die here? You think I get to go back home first? An MRI would give us a better idea. Oh, MRI, come on. The pneumonia. Well, Dr. House thinks we should test for us. Yeah, I heard about him. Obsessive some bitch. <laughs> That's him. So who do you think is right, Hamilton or House? Hey, they're both excellent physicians. Come on. One of them says ALS. The other one says not ALS. You got to pick one, son. Everything points to ALS. The no MRI. And I want one of them papers to say, uh, I don't want nothing done if something go bad. A DNR? Mr. Jowles, you don't want to rush into... It's been two years. I ain't rushing. I want to sign one. 
Now. Well, my arm still works. Signed a DNR. He rhymes with dinner? He signed a DNR. Oh, that makes more sense. You tell him it might not be ALS? No. Well, no wonder he signed. Who wouldn't? I started him on IV steroids and, and Synthroid. Great. If it was my case, I'd be adding a little IVIG to the mix. For his pneumonia? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. He doesn't want anything done. No treatment. DNR means do not resuscitate, not do not treat. You do nothing. Doesn't matter which one of us is right. And hang on to that DNR. That signature could be worth a lot of money real soon. Dr. Foreman, what's Mr. Giles' status? Okay, increase the steroids to 100 milligrams every 12 hours. And uh, start them on IVIG. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. One gram per kilo.